today, I have my Smets Super Needle. It's 11 times the size of a regular home sewing needle and is anatomically correct. I'm going to use it today to show the different parts of a needle. At the top of the needle is a beveled edge, and this is referred to as the butt. It's beveled for a reason, for easier insertion into your needle holder. Next, we have a shank. Home sewing machines require a flat shank for perfect positioning into your machine. We have a transitional area here referred to as a shoulder, which is now color coded. The length of the needle is referred to as a blade. And along the top of the blade is a groove. And the purpose of the groove is to cradle the thread so it's not flip-flopping back and forth. You want the thread to feed evenly and smoothly to the eye of the needle. We also have the point, the tip, and the eye of the needle. These parts also change according to needle types. On the back side of the needle is a little indentation referred to as a scarf. The scarf is very important to the function of a stitch. The scarf allows the bobbin holder to actually grab the thread underneath the throat plate and to create the stitch. Home sewing machines require needle system 130-705H. That's a needle with a flat shank and a scarf. In general, the width of the eye is 40% the width of the blade. As the blade or needle size increases, the eye also increases. With these exceptions, the eye of the embroidery needle is wider and a bit longer. The eyes of the metallic and top stitch needles are even more pronounced. Their eyes are not only wider, but elongated. And what does a larger eye mean? It means there's less friction on the thread as it's passing through the eye, allowing you to work with heavier weight threads and finicky metallic threads and even old or poor quality threads. So what's the deal with the color bands? Well, Smets listened to you. In 2014, Smets Needles added the two color bands on the shoulder to identify needle type and size. The top color band identifies the needle type. The lower color band identifies needle size. The universal needle has only one color band to identify needle size. So put your magnifying glass away. Smith's needles are now easily identifiable.